Hey, welcome back to MacBreak Studio. I'm talking with Steve here today about Fonica Pro and working with audio and doing something that I think a lot of people are gonna be curious about and know how to deal with uh, applying filters to audio, right? Right, um, I've gotten a lot of questions over the past you know, couple of years about you know, how do I filter a component, a p portion of the component. Of audio, so you exactly. wanna do compression or EQ or levels or whatever, right. and you have to do it to the entire audio clip, and you just wanted to do a part of it? Yes, so we're gonna look at that. Let's All call right. it selective audio filtering. Okay. Here we go. Okay, so I have this clip, and I wanna, um, this is, there's some underwater sounds here, and I wanna kinda change the EQ, make it a lot, lot more bassy, more, more uh, kind of a deep bass underwater sound, and you may not be able to hear this, so I'm not gonna bother even playing it back, so it's not gonna really matter in the context of what I'm showing you. Okay. So what I'm gonna hit is um, uh, Control Option S to reveal the components. And as, I'm, as you mentioned, if you want to apply a filter to a range, I'm gonna drag on a range, you're like, oh, I love to filter just that section. You'll notice when you drag the filter, it applies it to the entire. You can, you can tell by the highlight there, it's gonna apply everywhere. Uh, yeah, right, uh -huh. so that's not ideal. So some people have suggested, well, why don't you just, you know, press Command B, blade, blade, and then, um, and then filter that chunk, which yeah. you certainly could do, but there's two things I don't like about this. One is I can't easily create a crossfade there unless I used a, possibly a third party filter. And, it, you have to overlap them. It, it, there's a lot more work involved. Okay, it just takes a number of steps. And plus, uh -huh. I don't like through edits in my video. I'm sorry, <laughs> I don't. Something, it just, just yeah, and me. it doesn't even tell you it's a through edit. It doesn't even tell you. Yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, uh, undo those last couple of steps because uh, I do have a better way. So let's say I want to like filter just a section. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move my playhead. And here's a key is I, I move the playhead where I want my selection to start. So right about here, and I, you'll also notice that uh, snapping is turned on, and you'll see why in a minute. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my range, and let's say I want to selectively filter that section, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna press V to disable, and you'll see why in a second. V as in victory. V as in victory, right, So I'm, because I want to filter that section. Well, you'll see why I did it okay. in a second. So, you disable right. the thing you wanna work right. on, which is confusing. Exactly, <laughs> so I'm going to press Command C to copy, and I'm gonna press and then right here, I want to paste at the playhead, option B. So what it does is it pastes that same section right okay. below it, and it keeps the section above it disabled. So, so what's really nice about this here is I'm gonna get the, the, the regular audio here, and let's go ahead and let's, if I did, what about throw a channel EQ on here? Mm -hmm. just, if I just right now, it should just sound like it did before. You actually haven't changed anything. Right, I'm uh, gonna go ahead. The way it would sound. It, yeah, exactly. So. I'm going to just grab this channel EQ because it's here. Okay. And it also happens to be um, that, uh, that one of the new keyboard the, shortcuts. And the, key, the new 10.2.3, that's one of the keyboard shortcuts. The default audio effect. Yeah. So uh -huh. it's really nice. People, I mean, I use EQs all the time. They're very, very handy. So I'm just going to grab that channel EQ and just drop it right there on that little piece. So now this is filtered, and, but this section is. Now, here's why I like this method better than those other methods. See, now. I could put my trim tool on the edge of this and I, could, I can trim this in. So I'm gonna go ahead and trim the silence in just a little bit on either side. Because this gives me the ability to, to grab these fade handles here and fade and, yes, fade these handles. That's why I moved them in so I can just drag. I, I can create these really nice cross fades. So here there's also fade handles. And it allows me to feather the EQ in so it's not this hard it's cut. It's not a in hard cut in, yep. Right. Yep. See, it, it's gonna, it takes a lot less time than those other methods. And then when I when I collapse this, I'm gonna go ahead and collapse audio components, I can clearly see that's where the audio, you, you can see that's where the audio that's has been disabled. Worked on it, yes. And this is the EQ section right here. So really, I find this just the, the, the cleanest way to EQ or apply an all, a filter to one particular section of the audio. Yeah, no need to blade the whole thing, because if you had bladed the video too, you'd be wondering, well, why do I have cuts there? Did I, you know, you might drag those clips around or reorder them, but now you can tell they belong together and tell exactly where your effect was applied. That's right. So that's nice. why, that's my little tip on selective nice. audio filtering. Very simple and clean, I love it. Good. Very good. All right, dudes, Ripple, rippletraining.com, uh, Facebook, Twitter, uh, find out what we're coming up with next. We got a lot of new tutorials. We got a lot happening this year. A lot of stuff going on with Final Cut. So please stay tuned, and we'll see you again here on MacBreak Studio.